Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be teaching you Superhuman Aura VFX tutorial. First we will start off with pre-combing of footage. It's not necessary but I do it just for my own thing. Then duplicate it and then I'll rename it to Roto Layer because I don't have a green screen so yeah I'll have to rotoscope the subject. Once we are done with the rotoscope, now we will click freeze frame. And let's check how our rotoscope layer is. Mm, I think this looks good enough. You can take your time. Now I will duplicate the roto layer again and then I will rename it roto layer main 2. I am renaming the layer because do not get confused. I am renaming it every layer. So now we will drag and drop fill layer on our duplicate layer and then we will choose our color. You are free to choose whatever color you want to choose. Now we will be adding turbulent displace we will be playing with some properties first of all we will go to the evolution and then we will set time asterisk 200 and those who don't know how to do that we can click alt or command and then click on the keyframe button of the evolution and then we will play with the amount and size properties you are free to choose whatever amount you feel for your video Now we will be adding a fast box blur. Okay, now it looks good enough. I think that I will be... Yeah, I will trim the video down. From where I think the rotoscope looks good enough for me. Now I will duplicate the roto main layer, the one which has fill and turbulent display and put it above the layer. Now I will add a simple choker effect and then I will play with the choke mat properties. I will drag and drop it above the turbulence displays and then I will do keep the value around negative 45 I guess. Yeah. And then we will add a set matte effect. And then I will choose the roto layer main. And then I will do the invert matte. This will give a subtle glow effect around our body. You can see. Okay, the step one is done now. Now we will move to the another step which is now we will add some more effects to it first effect will be rough and edges rough and edges and then we'll make it change this property from edge type to spiky and then we'll play with the border and the evolution settings you can also play with the other properties also these values will be changing as we will move forward Now you can see like uh, the aura is emitting from its body. It's not looking good right now but trust the process and follow this tutorial till the end and you will see the result. Now we will add another set matte effect.
Now in order to make it more look good, we will add a CC vector blur. And then we will change the amount slightly like around 9 to 10 would look good. To give it kind of something like you know electricity feeling to it. After it's all done, now we will create a new solid layer and choose the color whatever you want. Like I'm going with the sign theme, like something blue. And then we will add a set matte effect onto it. And then in the crack matte from layer, I'll choose the roto layer, main three. And then I'll do it invert matte. The next effect we will be dropping is fast box blur. and change the blur radius now we will be adding another set matte effect so you can see that we already have a edge glow you know to make it look more realistic Now we will up duplicate our roto main layer and then drag it up. The first effect that we will be adding on is find edges. And then click invert. Now we will be adding factor noise and then we will play with the contrast and the brightness. Now we will change our blending mode from normal to multiply and also in the comp layer we will change it to screen. Let's slow out this layer and then because more effects is coming up now we will add CC toner effect and then I'll pick the color Now we will add turbulent displays and change its properties. The properties will vary from the clip to clip so you don't have to put the exact properties, exact amount what I'm adding it right now. As I said that we will be doing a lot of changes. So now I will be changing the background, background layer which we first created the duplicate row to layer. Now I will be adding a new solid layer and add fractal noise to it. We we'll play with the contrast and the brightness. The fractal noise is a very powerful tool in After Effects. We'll change its properties from to smeary and then then change it to spline. Go to evolution and set time as tricks 200 yeah now it's looking good enough they will be adding set matte effect to go to layer main
and a fast box blur yeah, I think small amount of small amount will be good enough at 15 around now we'll be adding set matte effect and then put it above the fast box blur and change its la layer to roto layer now we'll be doing invert matte for the set matte layer Now we will be adding CC toner effect and choose our own color and then vector blur to give it a wavy kind of look to it and then we will add our glow effect to it you see now it's looking good enough for me also at last you will be doing need to do some color correction because the footage is something different here and to make it look more good you will be doing some color correction Let's pre-comb our factor noise layer which we created because we'll be doing masking because we don't want the factor noise to be everywhere so just the point where he's standing and then we will just feather it out Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial Make sure to subscribe my channel for more content Thank you so much for watching have a good day.